Why am I not surprised? Hey news friends, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the iPhone 10 and production cuts. So reports came out today that the iPhone 10 production is going to be cut from 40 million units to 20 million units over the next three months. This will definitely have an impact on their supply chain. It's estimated that the production cut will cost the supply chain billions in this quarter alone. Not good for the economy. Hopefully this cut doesn't sink any of their supply chain manufacturers since a lot of them rely on Apple for their business. So Apple decided to do this cut because of low holiday sales and because the iPhone 10 isn't living up to expectations. During the launch of the iPhone 10 last September, CEO Tim Cook said that the phone would set the path of technology for the next decade. Er, not so much. I can see why this phone isn't living up to the expectation. It's not really that innovative. Mind you, Apple's always behind in technology compared to Samsung and the other phones that run Droid OS's. Yes, it has Face ID, but what else is really innovative about it? Upgraded camera? Okay, yeah, that's almost a given. Better screen? Yeah, that's almost a given too. Wireless charging? iPhone 8 has that and it's cheaper on that phone. And another huge reason why it's probably not doing very well? The selling price. Thousand dollars! That's freaking expensive for a phone! Don't get me wrong, I love Apple. I got my iPhone 8 right here. When I saw the iPhone 10 was going to be a thousand dollars, I was like, nope, I'm going to spend 700 on iPhone 8. And this phone is still freaking expensive. And I'm sure many of you are in the same boat, right? Curse you, Apple, for always making me get a phone every couple years. So what I think this means is Apple actually needs to come up with a new innovative product instead of just upgrading their iPhones every year. The oohs and ahs of the iPhone, I think, have worn off. Another interesting tidbit is that there are reports coming out saying that Apple actually won't lower the price on this phone, so when the next generation iPhone comes out, this phone will no longer be available. It's basically a get it now or get it never type deal. So what's your thoughts? Do you think Apple is losing their grip in the phone arena? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, until next time, this is Nukem384 saying I'll see you when I see ya.